Hi, Colleen Rutledge here, and now we're going to talk about the Intro Scaling Kit. The Intro Scaling Kit consists of the autoclavable case and lid, and of course the handpiece, and the three wrenches, and the tips, the number one, the H3, and the 10Z. Now I'd like to demonstrate how to put the tip on the handpiece with the color-coded wrenches. I usually like to say you can spin it on and then when it stops you just tweak it a little bit. Watch when you take the tip wrench off so that you don't damage the tip. When you're putting the wrench back on the tip for removal, make sure you use the small end, feed it over the tip, and then remove. Hi, Colleen Rutledge here. We're going to talk now about the number one tip. The number one tip is a universal tip. It's used for super gingival calculus, for simple cases, and pocket range between three and four millimeters. It's used in the blue power setting, which is high power. Now we'll set the irrigation level. You want to start slowly and increase until you get a fine mist. Now we're going to turn off the light so you can see the fine mist with the LED light. It's just enough to cool the tip. Now we're going to show you the, the number one tip in action. As you can see, we've just got that fine mist. We slowly go back and forth with sweeping motions. We work from the coronal to the apical portion of the tooth. You can actually roll the tip as you would your instrument and look how easy it is. We're using the last two, three millimeters of the tip and slowly methodically with sweeping motions just taking away the calculus, the biofilm. And that's how easy it is. Let the tip do the work. We're now going to demonstrate the H3 tip. The H3 tip is used in the green or the low power setting. It's much like our 3 4 curette. We use the lateral sides. You can notice how quiet and how much less water there is. You want to go from the coronal portion of the deposit and work apically. The last two or three millimeters of the tip is what is the active portion. You can roll the tip when going in proximal. You can see how the lavage just flushes out the debris. Let the tip do the work. Use sweeping motions. I'm now going to demonstrate the 10Z tip. The 10Z tip is used in the blue setting, which is the high power. And what makes this tip nice is it is relatively thin, but it can be used at a high power so you can get off bigger pieces of calculus subgingively. So it really works well. You can see the laser edge demarcations that depict our settings for periodontal probing. That would be three, six, nine, and 10 in this case. Um, it is much quieter, by the way, than using a magnetostrictive unit. If it sounds a little louder to you, it's because we're working on a type it on, and it tends to be a little bit more exaggerated. You can see the sweeping motions again, and um, how it just shaves off the calculus. You can see it doesn't pop it off. I mean, sometimes you will get a piece that pops off, and there was a piece right there. But basically, you're, you're shaving it off like a windshield wiper against your windshield. You can relate to that when you have that frosting on the glass, and the windshield wipers just take it off. It's the same thing. Now, we want to move with this tip. We can go in approximately. You can see you can use your fulcrum, 
and again working from the coronal portion apically. Just let the tip do the work for you. Yeah, tactile sensitivity, I can actually feel the calculus. I'm going to make sure you get to the line angles. And this completes our intro scaling kit section.